Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. This week, we are checking out King's Quest, Chapter 1, A Night to Remember. I am hosting this episode, Tim Turry here, and joined by Andrew Reiner. Why, hello, Tim. Hello. So, this well, is this is King Graham, kid? young King Graham, oh, thanks. meeting I know it ain't fancy, the blacksmith of Daventry here. Am I a okay. Nice to meet you. Graham. And we're, what, about... Uh, yeah, about an hour, hour and a half into the game, or something like that. Maybe? Yeah, this is Reiner's personal playthrough here. Um, and I'll set up the plot for, in a second after we get through this dialogue. My own invention, of course. Thing looks useful. It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Sounds like an important quest element at some point. Okay. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far, different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the queen died. What? And now, with the bridges mm -hmm. out, no one can get into so, Daventry. So, long-time fans of King's Quest know quiet. that the series starts with Silence. Graham the as king of, of Daventry, so quiet towns don't kind of building it up here. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. <laughs> All right, so that's her. Uh, to set up where King Graham is, the whole game takes place with a sort of like, n like kind of unreliable narrator thing. Old King Graham talking to his granddaughter about how he became a knight and then eventually king. What we're looking at here is Reiner has just qualified for uh, entering the uh, the knight tournament. Uh, that that tournament stadium thing we see yeah, out there. there in the distance what, what he did is you know we did like a chivalry test got to know the other knights there's the strong fat one that's hiding a secret there's the fast guy who is really cocky full of himself the smart little one and the foreign um sort of archer guy uh what he needs now to qualify further is to get the eye of a hideous beast so in oh here's some of the narration going on yeah so the old Graham is voiced by Christopher Lloyd. Yes. Back to the Future fame, Roger Rabbit fame. That's right. A hideous beast lurking inside. There he is. Well, this is why I keep up my hand in everything. Mm-hmm. So that might be a hint. You know, some of this stuff just seems like it's for fun, but... Uh, oh, so I don't have anything right now. Important always to know what's in your inventory in these classic adventure games. And, you know, like I mentioned, this is a reboot of uh, like a continuation of a long running Sierra point and click adventure game. Um, and, you know, I reviewed this game way more in line with classic adventure games. And it's fairly linear up like through the points that Reiner's played. And this is where it really starts to open up. Um, so classic stuff like you see the pumpkin there and it kind of pops out from the rest of the field and. Maybe you can grab it. Inventory items are like gold in these games. And there's a lot of magic involved. What is yeah. happening? Oh, no! Those. Get off of me. Was housing too many squirrels for my taste. So it's nice. You get a little mix of, of narration there. Uh, but obviously, Strange. it seems like that pumpkin might be useful for some reason. Yeah. Any predictions what you'd use a pumpkin for at this point? No, and that's, none whatsoever. And that's the beauty of adventure games, is you know it's important for some reason, but you don't have context yet. Okay, oh, so here's one of the... Pick, pick well, no, he's just a guard. I get these old picks before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. Mm -hmm. So I'll need something eventually to help this guy. Yeah. Or get rid of him. Yeah. What's down here? Wow, you weren't kidding about this opening up. There's like a bunch of different paths I can go to. You know, and this is like really reminiscent of old King's Quest games is you enter from one side of a path and you see different art like winding paths. And all the bridges are out in Daventry. Kind of and none of the horns work. The yeah, this isn't the first horn we've seen, but there's a recurring thing that there's these horns. I don't know what they're for, but you're missing the mouthpiece. Um, oh, I'll get an eye of a frog. Are you going to go for an eye of a frog? Yeah, I'm going to sneak up on him. Hey! Oof. So that was one of the knights I'm going against. Yeah, that's Whisper. He's the fast one. Gotcha! Um, so yeah, these are. Th this game is, is based on a traditional point-and-click sort of formula, but you control Graham uh, independently using the analog stick. It feels pretty good mm -hmm. as far as controlling him. It's pretty simple. <laughs> uh, a really good sense of humor. This isn't being developed by uh, The Odd Gentleman, who are the creators of The Misadventures of PB Winterbottom. Um, and some other games there, but it's been very whimsical so far. I, yeah. I really like that. Like I, I like the the intro was very linear mm -hmm. and not very much in the line of King's Quest, but it was a good intro to the style, story, and humor that they're they're presenting. That's right. 
precious. What? So this, with that was a, a badger chasing a squirrel. Might be <gasps> useful information at some point. Uh, and then uh, this is the town square here. I, and, I bet I die if I go and do this. Let's see if there's a fail state. Yeah. I thought it was a slice of pizza Get at first. Out of here. Scram. Oh. Shoot. Using a lantern Beat to scare it. those guys off. She seems like she's kind of a, a badass. So in classic adventure game uh, kind of design, <laughs> sometimes you get too close to something, they'll, they'll kill you. The yes, that's true. And maybe we'll see some of that in your playthrough. I hope so. Like yeah. Unfortunately, and and Reiner's at the controls the here, so since this is his game, you know, I've, I've beaten this first chapter. and uh, Which is pretty long, right? For a, I guess in the today's episodic world... Mm -hmm. Telltale averages, what, an hour to two hours? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, Telltale is definitely shorter when this has to offer. I think that has to do with the fact that it opens up here and that depending on how... There's way more puzzles in it than a lot of modern adventure games. Um, so, in classic puzzles. So, they're pretty cryptic. So... She wants you to keep the back door closed. Uh, the one I, you earlier, you, you sneak in over the wall there. Um... Reiner was actually here earlier. What were you doing in here before? I was getting a wheel for a wagon. Yeah. Whatever path I chose and I don't know if you checked all the shops, but there's, I did. there's there's three different wheels you could use, and it, it starts to scram down these different paths of kind of making friends with some of these different shopkeeps. You can kind of veer towards the ones that you like. Yeah, when, um, when I came through, nobody was here. Yeah, they were all at a parade, I believe. That's right. Hi. I like these guys. Merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. I like the art this style. No you know, it, it, it does remind me of Telltale's kind of character cool. models, mm -hmm. but there's this certain look to it. Uh, otherwise, especially in the animations, I just think that there's a lot more personality that comes through in them. Yeah, it's it reminds me of Jack and Daxter, actually. Oh, interesting. A lot. Yes. Like, um, how some of the characters will stretch yeah. and just be over-exaggerated. Yeah, that's a great a great example. Or, you know, Graham will be running from danger, and he's he's a young man, uh, and so he's kind of flailing and, and, and bumbling, um, and they, they do a good job of communicating that, like, visually. Um, and, you know, some of your choices definitely do matter in this game, like which shopkeepers you ally with and kind of focus on. And there's also another cool thing going on where old King Graham talking to his young granddaughter Gwendolyn will sort of like in her decisions she makes in sort of the meta narrative. Uh, you know, if Graham goes for the intelligent choice, she might go for the intelligent choice. If he goes for brute force, she might do that as well. It's kind of cool. So last time I looked at this, there was nothing brewing. No. Mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. There's Christopher Lloyd. Mm -hmm. And in, inspection, inspecting everything is always oh, part of it. Different. Always part of it. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. <laughs> oh, <an invasion. laughs> like I'm going to buy that. Bomb, you want some bird bombs? Mm -hmm. That will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Yeah. When would that be useful? I don't know, but I bet you do know. Yeah. I, I do know because I've, I've played through this already. But yeah, you know, I pl probably played like four or five hours of this. Um, and it was a beautiful thing where I didn't have access to. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I'm, so it won't let me buy it right now. Yeah. You know, you can try to offer them money and see okay. if they give you anything in exchange. Uh, and that's another part of, you know, classic adventure games like this. Um is you kind of try to trade and and combine items. Mm. So, have you seen anything? Should I do it? That uh, well, you need to find housing for it. So, I don't know. Do you have anything, or can you think of anything that might be useful for holding a candle? Have we seen anything? Okay. Not yet. Well, I don't think so. We can keep looking around. Um, I want to catch a frog. Yeah, the frog seems like something I could do. Clearly there's catchable. A pumpkin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it has squirrels living in it. So for now, it's like meeting people, oh, trying to honey. collect. Sorry for all the locks. Oh, that's there's right. Because you stole the bread wheel, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, so you got this baker here. Hello so I could have there. tipped him earlier. Usually there was a tip jar out. Afternoon. Did you leave any money? No. I just took his here. his bread and but ran. I'm fairly certain out. if you had left a tip that he wouldn't have locked his door. Ah. Um, that's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Yeah, I, I, I stole a, a tabletop 
And he's talking about the stolen loaf of bread now. I stole a tabletop from the shop we were yeah, just in. But I left a three gold coin tip. Okay, so here's oh. some choice. Should I lie? Oh man, what do you think, Reiner? What do you usually go for in this situation? I, I like I usually play the char- the way I think the character would be in real life. So I think this guy would be pretty nice and he'd apologize. Yeah, he's a noble guy. Well, yeah. Um about that. Uh, I kind of sort of borrowed it. A, a man was stranded and needed help. No one seemed to be around to pay. I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry. I like yeah. that. You can always leave a tip on the counter. That does make me feel better though. But I'm not going to do that. Mm. You're not? You're not going to tip him? I'm just glad I, I need a candle. The door anymore. Yeah? How much Tell gold you do you have at this point? I think five. Five, five pieces? Mm. So you're thinking that you're going to need all of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. You're going to do it. I'm okay. Gonna leave tip. Uh, the only thing I can sell you for one coin... I think he has a tip jar somewhere. Pie. Uh, but, it's but, oh. A few ingredients. Here's something important. Uh, is maybe a pie. Uh... So he's he's got uh, oh, pie. some more dialogue options, I think, unless you can just examine more things around the the environment there. This looks like there's some pastries or Is something. Is this strudel? It looks like it, doesn't it? Strudel's great. Mm. Red, ask us about our free samples. Of course, he remembers what that sign said. So I think you got more dialogue options yes, with the baker. Sir. Okay, so free samples, we can ask about that. Um... Oh, he, he got any eyes big. Of course, that's how that works. <laughs> well, we gotta ask that. Delicious chocolate, hideous beast side cake I smell cooking. Is it? <laughs> Looking for an eye, are you? <laughs> well, it must be that time of year again. And all these guys right know about the tournament to become a knight. Sure. Uh, so it's a kind of a a, a tradition. Like, hey, the town is like so ten people. I know. <laughs> all very different. Passion comes from the heart, you know. As does food. And you see, you, you, you start to, to see a theme the emerge from these guys. This guy is all about compassion all and heart. Hmm. The shopkeepers are about intelligence and wits, and the the blacksmith is all about you know strength and force. And um, you can kind of try to, to use them as mentors uh, huh. to some extent. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, uh, so it smells so special? good. <laughs> well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. Okay. There's nothing Delicacy there. Big enough to feed an army, or someone with the appetite of an army. This might be the I thing he he needs uh, ingredients well, for. I think. Judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? That's true. Unfortunately, no. my ingredients haven't been delivered because of that pesky merchant. That's how it always goes. Get fixed, will just it's like when you go to the barber. The you want the barber pie with. Pie coolest haircut no no you want the barber with the worst hair wait is that how that works because that means he's giving or he or she is giving the the better haircut oh, to a different one. right just yeah like so if you get the barber with the good haircut and there's one with the bad one and there's just two of them then you're that's right bad that haircut. is how that works i forgot got any free samples oh today only I'm letting people mm. It was so mm. basically he's setting up like hey these are items you can get so that you can solve other puzzles um, so bitter root seems like something we might have to keep our eyes open for. Sure. And there is our hint. And I think he's offering to to give you uh, the or talk about the ingredients for the pie too. Where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I can bring him a pumpkin with squirrels in it. That's smart. Yeah, maybe cook up those squirrels. Which ingredient? Uh, starberries. Yeah, that's a yes. They are yellow. And uh, hmm. tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. Okay, so we'll keep our eyes open for those. Sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. So, Feeling a little overwhelmed at this point. There's a lot going on. There's, you know, it's that part in the game where you don't have a lot in your inventory. There's a lot to explore, and you just got to make the the world become a little bit smaller by exploring. Uh, and this is definitely part of it. If we want, we can... Uh, Hobbit Zombie is a great <laughs> username, by the way. Uh, Sorry about that, everyone. No, that's fantastic. So, um, you know, I think that there's a little bit more to explore. We can go talk to the blacksmith if we want. Might get or do you want me to go out in the world? Do you think there's something we could accomplish right now? I think there is. I think there's some, well, okay. some items to collect out there. And Should we head back out this way then? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I think uh, there's a path to the right after you exit. Yeah, we don't have much time here. This is just a test chamber, not a walkthrough. That's so. right. It's we'll just kind of show you how this game works. Yeah. And you know, these games... <gasps> oh, Tim, already. Tim, look. 
And this is a very classic, like, King's Quest scene. Like, scene. There's a central thing that you can, like, a landmark, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, tr paying attention to the path and stuff and, no, and you know, sort of your geography is important for getting you around because you do a lot of backtracking this game. It's very old school that way. Uh, it's one of my knocks on the game, even though I enjoy how much it makes you pay attention. It can get kind of tedious. But now you got some bells. You have five coins and a bell. I would uh, maybe explore... Um, oh, yeah. Let's learn some, some history here. And one thing, like, you cannot skip any text. So if you engage in the same conversation again. Yeah, that is that is one of the frustrating things. Like, the, the things that I, I kind of knocked it for. Uh, I think it's a good game. I, I'm really, I think it's charming. I think the puzzles are well done. I'm intrigued by the story. I think I think what they did with the animations and the art style is great. But it gets a little tedious with the backtracking. Not being able to skip those dialogue options is kind of rough. Uh, oh, you can examine that rock. Oh, there's stuff under the rock. I wonder... Can I just grab well, that? And then there's a, there's another hint. Um, what do we know about large rocks? Um, they roll. Bitter root grows under large yeah, rocks. Yeah, I, I see it, but I can't. Yep, we're going to have to find a way to get that rock out of there. Nothing's well, ever so can simple. Can I just grab those flowers? They are pretty. I think that they look good with Graham. Oh, but. I used to have a hatchet. What? So the other knights, there, or the other would-be knights, are trying to capture beasts okay. for the competition. Is this a fail state? Could it be? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Wait, Let's... what is this? Right. Oh, my gosh. You know what? This is one of those things, though, where the old King's Quest player in me never jumped down in that trap, so I didn't discover sh sugar shrooms for, like, a couple hours. But you got them right away. Nice work. I'm pretty daring. You want to try to go for that meat? Yeah, let's get some meat. So Some delicious meat. Very smart. Oh, oh. I got meat face. I got raw, it. raw meat in your face. Uh, that'll happen from time to time. I heard that's good if you get punched, you put raw meat on your face. That's right. Yeah, you can frozen meat in there. Mm -hmm. Or if you can punch meat if you're Rocky Balboa. Right, if you want to get strong. Yeah. So here's here, what is this all about? Floating Island. Only steps away. Oh. It's so floating. Maybe it's Angel Island from Sonic and Knuckles? Maybe I don't know. Should I go this way? Or Sonic Three? Uh, yeah. So there's some like platforming you can climb stuff. Occasionally, that yeah. that one's not so interactive, but there are, there are some things where it's like, oh, those rocks are probably climbable. There was a kind of Crash Bandicoot sequence at the beginning where I was getting chased. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about don't that. Turn right. No floating islands that way. I think mm -hmm. it's this way, Tim. You, do you think so? Oh, all right. Oh. We got starberries, though. That That's a good thing. Beehive, though. This scene here is reminiscent of Princess Bride. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's callbacks to just the framing of the narrative where it's the old man telling a kid a story. Uh, even there's a voice actor. I can't remember his name, but he's the uh, inconceivable guy. Yeah, he's in it. He's, he plays Manny, the smart little knight. So it looks like there was some sort of proposal going on here, but it looks like maybe they didn't show up, or I don't know what happened here. Yeah, something sad. So can, are you able to get the starberries down somehow? You're just able to, to kind of look Someone at the scene. The scene okay. for a I don't think you can interact with anything else on the table. I think you got it, pretty much. Gotcha. Um, but we can see if there's a way to get the, the starberries. Why does he always push climb? Well, uh oh, I'm dead. Oh, boy. I ruled the bees day. <laughs> that lovely meal. You might still be able to grab a starberry, though. I'm. I tucked the berries away for later. Nice work. Okay, so I got the ingredients for the guy. You got the sugar shrooms and the starberry. And we're getting a save. Let's see if I can die here. It's a good idea. Okay, that wasn't so much as, as deadly as maybe no. we thought it would be. No, he's he's just dumb. Should we bring him back to the baker? Yeah, that was this way. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we might be able to find out what we use the pie for. I think there's actually a chance. Um, uh, it's to your left if you want to go back to oh, the baker. Is. Yeah. Where and that's going? that's all part of it is like, if I hadn't played this game for so long, like, of course, right at the end of my playthrough of chapter one is when it all started to come together. I began to understand it. Uh, just really quick. You, when you, there's something interactive. Well, yeah, he'll look at it briefly. Is that what he does? Okay. Yeah, he has a little like head tilt. That's cool. Yeah, uh, it's a nice little touch. I was I tended to look for the icon, like there's a little hand icon that pops up, but uh, it's nice that they added those other little visual cues in there. 
uh, really subtle. All right, and we're back to this nice little yeah. Ren Festival. You know what else I really liked about this game? is very relaxing. Uh, there's something really sort of therapeutic and, and, and calming about this. Yeah, did you see him look at the tree there? Yeah. Just kind of a little head tilt. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I really like everything I've played of it so far. All right, so hopefully this is... Uh, I think that's all we need for the baker. You got the coin, you got the uh, sugar shroom, and you got the starberries. And I have some meat. Mm. Wow. These sugar shrooms look amazing. I picked the best ones for you, sir. Mm. Too shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours. For the sir, guess what? Rate of one shiny <sighs> he's not going to be able to believe it, Reiner. I know, he's going to be so happy. Oh, give me Apprentice Baker if you wanted, maybe. I was going to give these to Sora from Kingdom Hearts, but... <laughs> these starberries are... And you'd have a girlfriend then, but... It, just we need this pastry or whatever he's making. Mm. Scent of musky cabbage. Delicious musky cabbage. You pass me one shiny gold coin, grandma's no deal. No dice? Mm -mm. So we don't even know why we want this pie yet, but you know that you're not going to use those items for anything so else. You your only coin to buy that giant pie. Oh. Mm. Interesting. I, I would... Did. Cool. I knew that too. Delicious smelling pie with oh, is it your last coin? The next round. Yeah, I guess. Oh, so. interesting. Okay, uh -oh. yeah, I think that's. I think that's well, right. I think you're the, the right spot there. Share this pie with a friend or two. <laughs> of course, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tremendous pie. And of course, Graham's inventory is bottomless. So yeah, I like that he does his cape like that. Do you um, do you want to hit? We want to find the road. Yeah. Let's, so okay, so what should, should we leave? Yeah, let's leave, and um, we're gonna kind of come back the way that we came. There is actually a paved road that we saw. I believe it was the uh, the red horn was on, um, and that, there's a really cool character along the way that I, I think we're gonna be able to run into uh, if memory serves. Cool. Maybe end it there. Yeah. So uh, you want me to come back this way, or yeah, towards the screen, towards the screen. Yeah. And and I think you pass the pumpkin patch again. I like that pumpkin. Which. I'm not going to give it away, but that pumpkin is going to be useful. We already know it's going to be. Uh, I think take a right. Look at that thing. Look at that beautiful big old pumpkin. What a beautiful boy. Yeah, because I think that the carriage is downed over here, the pumpkin carriage. Yeah, which lets you know that's the way to the pumpkin patch. Oh, cool. Anyway, if you go north, um, you have to like pay attention to things like that in these kinds of right, games. Right, right. And keep going right, and there should be a bridge. Here it is. Horns. Yeah, there's more horns. Wait, this won't work. Probably not. I just got to blow it. You got to try. That's part of an adventure game thing. Mm -hmm. Explore every nook and cranny. Okay. Yep. There's roots on the bridge. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, um, what? Oh. Uh oh. Well. Okay. And, and here's a uncharted the, the rare bit of, yeah. you know, just kind of like basic platforming along the way. More exciting than Uncharted 2. Yeah. You go to your right there first and then up. Oh, well, maybe that wasn't supposed to... Maybe you weren't supposed to succeed. Whoa. It's a bridge troll. Very literal. <laughs> I like it. King's Quest is heavy on puns. The characters all have been pretty cool looking. I like this guy a lot. Told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs. Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. Oh God. Uh. What do you got? What do you think? I got a pie. Okay. I'll say, careful! I've slain many monsters before, cause because I battled a dragon. That you did, but that's later, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. It's either way. There's two lies and a promise that you can go with. Uh, you can. I'll return with better taste. Is that you're gonna do? Yeah. Man, do we have any delicious food? I don't. I, we'll, we'll have to see Tim. I don't know. It looks like he's got a big appetite, Reiner. Should I? Should I maybe look in my inventory? Hmm. I wonder if he'd be into it. Let's see what he likes. Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. They should put him in Shadow of the Colossus. I know. Where's his weak spot? Tooth. Yeah, pull right that sucker out. Yeah, pull yeah. it out. Get a rune going on there and give it an old stab. Where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Well, so uh, he, I could say until we meet again. You or, can. or And he also has an explanation for all those weird instruments. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? 
They're horns. Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll. Ah, and it's always a bridge that's out, basically. And now we know why most of the bridges are out because they're alive. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The thread with the the bridge trolls is pretty entertaining. <laughs> it's great. Uh, so I'm gonna say until we meet again, okay. and then we'll give him the pie. Yeah, and end this. I like your logic here. All right, so we got a pie. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, pie. I think we find out that he has a sweet tooth. Look at this shot. It's really good. They're so happy. You're going to enjoy this. Oh, oh, God. All right. That was fast. <laughs> Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Aww. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract refurbished. that snarling snarlax eye. Hey, wait, I needed bridge. Oh. So he got you the eye. And this is a completely different path that you took to get you did? that eye. Yeah, that's absolutely... I didn't have... No! So I saw none of this because I didn't make the pie that early. Well, I just got screwed. But it makes me feel better about what I ended up doing. Uh, for people that are on the fence about this, maybe we can... Um... Oh, what's he doing now? Another one? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, of course. Whisper. I mean, it had two eyes. Ophie has a new plan. First, we'll... <laughs> okay, this is all new to me. I'm fascinated. Then I'll... But first, you'll need this. So now you got the next... You traded up the pie for the horn blow piece, or the mouthpiece. <laughs> okay. There. But um, I didn't get my eye because Whisper Arrival took two of them. You didn't. Brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers mm. in our So this is where it uh, it continues here. But proclamations well, we don't want to show too no, much. No, no, I, I don't want to give it away, but uh, I'm intrigued because I'm already seeing branching paths, which I think lends to, uh, if people like replayability in their games, I think that King's Quest is uh, is promising. Anyway, one of the cooler adventure games that's been out for a while. You think you're yeah. going to keep playing, Rainer? Uh, oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so into this. That's great. Uh, I love the vibe of it, the humor. Wow, he got so many eyes. Those were mine! I know! I have to wait one second. I'll be right back. Oh, and it's not a there's not a fail state in this situation. You know, it's not gonna make it so that you can't continue like old games. So now it's up to Reiner to uh to find a eye. And uh, as just really quick, as you pointed out, Tim, at the end of the game, they kind of give you a snapshot of all the different choices it's you really made. Cool. So my snapshot will be very different than yours. It's going to be. I'm excited to, to see it and compare them. Um, and, you know, this game's out on pretty much everything. PC, uh, last and current gen, PlayStation and, and Microsoft systems. So, yeah, check it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah. All right. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. Thanks for the help, Tim. Yeah, you got it. It was fun. I, I'm so charmed to have seen an alternate path. So uh, check it out and uh, stay tuned for more Test Chamber in the near future. Thanks, everybody.